It's interesting. Your your whole future is unwritten here at Central Arkansas. <laughs> I'm looking at Jackson Baker's bio, and it says he's six seven. He's from Phoenix, Arizona. Went to Brophy Prep, and that's it. He's redshirting this year, but he's joining us here at Pizza Ranch tonight. Good, good to have you with us, Jackson. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Thank good, you for having me. You bet. Good. Good. Um, it's kind of exciting when you look at a blank slate. I mean, you you really are. You're the uh, you get yeah. to start from scratch next season. Yes, sir. This is probably the first time in your life that you've played and practiced and prepared to not get in a game and yes, not sir. not have to go out there and compete. What's what's that been like for you? It's been great. Uh, it really gives me kind of a whole new, like you said, a whole new vantage point into basketball. I think kind of always not having that role, kind of always playing against the scout team and going from that point to now having to really like adopt a role in practice and not only for myself but for my teammates. I think I've tried my best to kind of get used to that and enjoy it because I see it out on the court if I can maybe make a move that a guy will make in the game and they'll be used to it because I did it in practice. I think I just like to see how it all pans out in the game and I love watching and cheering on everybody I try to provide energy however I can yeah are you trying to in practice are you trying to get over on the starters or the guys that are playing and oh yeah I love okay. competing for sure I I love going at Matt especially because he loves that when he gets going in practice he he starts talking a little bit getting into it and I'm not one to shy away from anything like that so even though I might be on the scout team I love to kind of battle with everybody and really I love it when we get competitive in practice because that's where our best practices come from so yeah for sure you uh well I, I've gotten to know your dad a little bit so I assume Gosh. that you're a pretty social guy because uh, Rick is a very social guy so I, I assume it. that the apple didn't fall far from the tree. I know a little more about your dad than I do about you. Tell me about your your path to basketball and uh, I guess how you got involved in this. You know as far as uh, being a college athlete. Yes, sir. A lot of it has to do with him. I uh, he's always been my coach in little leagues and stuff like that, and uh, had my parents really the most supportive parents uh, ever as I grew up. And I played a lot of sports. I played baseball flag football, a little bit of soccer. So I kind of was – every sport that was in the season was my favorite sport And uh, up until freshman year of high school when I kind of realized that al- along with dad kind of giving me some pep talks that I could really take basketball seriously. And not – I mean, I always dreamed of playing in college anything, but I uh, never really knew it could happen until around my sophomore year I started to get a lot better. My game progressed a ton and uh, finally started playing club. Uh, basketball which is a great outlet for coaches like coach Russ to come out and see me and had a couple good seasons with that with that and uh, thankfully I got the right guy looking at me and I ended up in Conway so yeah it was a great journey for sure and you have a grandfather that was an accomplished (laughs) basketball player just a little bit he uh, he played at Ohio University wasn't much of a player he'll at least he'll tell me that but uh, he ended up coaching in college and and in the NBA too he coached in the NBA for 27 years, I think, a bunch of different teams. I don't want to name them because I think I might get them wrong. But, yeah, he uh, – Coach can probably name him. Well, he was the NBA <laughs> coach of the year in, what, 86? 86, 1986, the, the he was the Blazers. head coach of the Portland Trailblazers. What's his name? His name is Mike Schuler. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. So, he, I love it because what with him, he really wanted to separate family time and basketball time. And so, when growing up, I was really young when he stopped coaching, but my cousins were older, so he – it's really separated a lot, and I I beg him to give me advice. So it's pretty funny having a guy like that uh, on your on your side for sure. Well, it's uh, hey Damon, can you hold this for just a second? Let's go a couple more minutes here with Jackson. We'll we'll take a timeout. But uh, as far as your path to Conway, how did how did that come about? How did how did you and Coach meet, and how did you yes, end up in, at Central Arkansas? Uh, I don't know exactly which first tournament. I, I remember Kansas being a big tournament for you guys. I, I remember seeing them at every game, and uh, Coach Sherbinsky was really great and talking to me, getting my number, and uh after a couple uh, i think what happened was is my club coach sent over my film and i must have had some good film because coach was really interested and and uh told me that he would love for me to try and at least take a visit and come see conway and gave it gave me a great offer so uh finally kind of got over senior year in october to see campus and it was my first visit expecting to i was going to air force as well to see and not really knowing what was going to happen and I fell in love with Conway immediately. I met Aaron and Tanner, who were great guys and one of some of my best friends. And so I uh, really was sold from the get-go and got home, had some talks with my parents, and 
uh, made the decision, and I've been happy ever since. It's been great. Coach, what's Jackson going to be as a player for you down the road, you think? be outstanding. You know, a lot of times people think when you redshirt someone, it means they're, they're not good enough. And and with Jackson, it was just the opposite. It, I felt like we had a log jam kind of his position with Tanner being a senior, and you still have Aaron and, and some different guys. And I just felt like that we might not be able to get him enough minutes to, to waste a year. Um, and we challenged him, you know, to, to get – in the weight room and, and continue to get better. Jackson's a, a, a crazy good shooter with range. He's going to fit in really, really good with our team. And I, I just didn't want to look up his senior year, and, and he's having this monster year knowing that he should be a junior if I'd have just had this sense to register him. You know, we're seeing that with Thatch now. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so, uh, fortunately for, for me, Jackson was all about that. His folks were all about that. And I know, you know, it kind of set you back a little bit. But – I would never redshirt someone that I didn't think had great potential because you just see those guys going through your program. But if you see someone you think they can be really good uh, and you got a surplus at a certain position, you hold them back. So uh, I'm, I'm really optimistic about him. Very skilled, passes the ball well. And, you know, Jackson hit a growth spurt about his uh, junior year or sophomore, junior year. He, he's been a guard his whole life, and now he's six eight with those guard skills. So we're really excited about him. Well, no pressure. Now you got to go for 33 if you're going to follow in Thatch's footsteps. So you got to have go. at least a couple told, of those I told games. Him, ne- never miss. <laughs> He's just never going to miss. Well, that's yeah, it good. It doesn't end up well for me when that happens. Hey, you're perfect. Uh, you're 100% <laughs> so far, so that's good. Yeah.